And of course, there's JNC8 includes some specific recommendations uh, based on the patient you may see. And these are good things that may come up on your examination, certainly come up in clinic. Uh, black patients respond better to drugs like calcium channel blockers and thiazide diuretics versus drugs like ACE inhibitors. If they have chronic kidney disease, uh, try to initiate an ACE inhibitor or an ARB and titrate to at least moderate doses. It will slow the progression of chronic kidney disease. Of course, watch the creatinine and watch the potassium in those patients too. Among patients with coronary artery disease, the, the best uh, drugs are a beta blocker and an ACE inhibitor or an, or an uh, angiotensin receptor blocker for preventing recurrent cardiac events. In diabetes, start an ACE inhibitor or an ARB um, because it can help with nephropathy. Interestingly, though, remember that patients who don't have uh, nephropathy don't necessarily benefit um, from an ACE or an ARB in, in, when they have diabetes. So it's really only after they develop nephropathy or when they have diabetes and hypertension that you introduce an ACE or ARB. And then finally, non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers uh, can be effective. They can't tolerate um, an ACE or an ARB in those patients with diabetes. And we'll talk, uh, heart failure requires uh, a few different drugs. The core drugs to, are listed there, either an ACE or an ARB plus a beta blocker, and then consider spironolactone for those patients too. That's a lot. <laughs> and you can feel really stressed out and lost, um, and I understand that. But you don't want to get too overly focused on the initial choice. I see a lot of clinicians really struggling. Okay, what's the best choice for my patient? JNC8 gives you latitude between several different classes of drugs, but don't worry about it too much because oftentimes you're going to be adding a second or even a third agent onto those patients with hypertension. So the one you start now will be a solo act for only the next you know, two to four weeks till you evaluate the patient again. If their blood pressure is still up, you might add a second agent. And then also when choosing drugs, uh, don't forget that really it's that number is the, the most important thing. So say you have a patient with diabetes and nephropathy, but they really have a hard time taking any of those drugs, the non dihydropedine calcium channel blocker, um, ACE inhibitor, ARB, they can't tolerate any of them, but they really enjoy and what they, the only thing they can tolerate is um, an alpha antagonist or a beta blocker. You know, it's not the ideal drug for that patient, but if it gets their blood pressure down, uh, towards goal, that's much more important than getting, than getting them just on the, the right drug uh, for their chronic medical condition. Hopefully that was really helpful in our brief review of hypertension. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed preparing it, and I think it'll help a lot of your patients. Thanks. <music>